In this Splendor Game Engine tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to install and use the Node Logic add-on. So we're going to be starting simple in this tutorial by applying movement to the object and just setting it all up so that it works for you. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this tutorial. So you're going to go ahead and come into this Blender Artist thread. There'll be a link in the description and you're going to come down here to where it says download. You're going to click on this and it will go ahead and download. So once you have it downloaded, go ahead and open up Blender and come to File, User Preferences and Add-ons. Then you want to go ahead and click here, Install from File. All right, so once you've done that, you want to go ahead and navigate, navigate to where your file is. So you might come here and click Downloads, or wherever it downloads to. You're going to have to find where you download it to. But once you've found it, click on it, and it should be a zip, and it should be bg um, netlogic add the number here and the reason I have two is because I downloaded a couple of them um, by accident so that's why we have two you won't probably won't have that unless you download more than one anyway we can just go ahead and leave this how it is we don't need to unzip it or anything we just click install from file and once we've done that you see we have game engine BG logic tree and we can enable that now you see we have a little warning sign here the reason for that is it's just an alpha so you don't need to worry about it so we can go ahead and click save user settings so now that we've done that it's all installed so let's go ahead and use it so we're going to go ahead and click here and drag across then we're going to come down here and we're going to change this to the node editor all right now i'm going to go ahead and come down here and click on this little game controller which is our logic nodes all right so you can also close this panel if you don't want it by N on the keyboard and that's going to close that panel when hovering over here so let's go ahead and create some new nodes so create a new node tree so we're going to click new and it's going to create a new node tree so let's go ahead and create some movement so I thought this would be a really great way to get you into logic nodes and just how to get them working so we're going to create a movement so when we click W it's going to move forward and that's basically going to be it for this tutorial, but um, it will teach you everything you need to know to get started with logic nodes. So let's go ahead and go Shift A, and we're going to come down here to Basic Uncategorized Actions, since they haven't been categorized. And as you can see, we have this Apply Value to Game Object. So this is basically applying movement to the game object. I'm not sure why it's named that, but that's what it's named. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. So as you can see, don't worry about that thing that popped up, that pops up, it's, it's alpha, so you can expect a few things like that. But here you can see that our logic node is added, and I really like this color, by the way, if the developer ever watches, I really like how you color-coded each of the nodes, it looks really, really cool. Anyway, what we're going to go ahead and do is set this up so it will work. So we want to go and apply some movement in the X, Y, and X, Y, or Z movement. So the way we can do this is we want to go ahead and change this from none to vector. So what this does is now we can put in a vector, like a direction for each of these, and it will move in that direction at that amount. So let me show you. So we're going to go ahead and click 1, comma, 0, comma, 0. So what this is doing is this is the vector. So if you don't know what a vector is, it's, it's x, y, and z. Um, so it has the coordinates like that, but in this case we're using it to tell it how much it's going to move and how fast it's going to move. So this first one right here, so this first one before the uh, comma, is the red direction, so, so the x direction. The second one is the y, the green direction here. And the last one is the z, which is the up direction in the blender. Alright, uh, so now... If we were to press play and it's not set up so nothing would happen but if this was all set up we'd move in the x air one one uh whatever one whatever this is per tick so uh yeah but it's not set up so we need to go ahead and set this up so it will work so let's go ahead and add another one so we're going to add a key so what we want to do is when we click um, w, I want it to move forward. So the way we can do this, go Shift A, 
and then we're going to come down to keyboard and we're going to go key press now you can have key release which is really awesome so if you wanted to do something like that you can but i'm going to use key pressed all right so this is the one we want now if we go ahead and connect this up um we want to go ahead and select a key as well so we're going to click on this it says press and choose so you click on it and then you hit the key pretty fast now if you click on it and then wait too long or move away as you can see it says press the key but if we move the mouse so you don't want to move the mouse and just click what you want to click or you can just do it really fast so it's going to be w for us all right so we're going to go ahead and do a bit more before this is going to work so when we press w it's going to activate this but it's not going to know what to do it on since this logic nodes is not like the logic bricks this is this apply value or apply movement is not automatically going to know which one it's uh, uh, which object it this whole tree is applied to so you've got to tell it which object this whole tree is applied to and the way you can do that very very easy is you go shift a and come up to where is it um scene graph nodes I'm going to come down here to find uh sorry not find um owner game object so if we add that and we connect this up to the game object what this is doing is it's finding out which one this is applied to so it's finding out which this tree is applied to which object it's applied to and then it's putting the object in here so if we duplicate this all around and we click w they'd all move instead of like having a predefined object so if we were to say like uh, we had an object called play and we were to put that in I'll show you a little bit later how you can do that for different objects if you want to do that but instead of doing that and then the only one thing would move it looks at what the what object this is connected to and it says where well, move this object so very very useful it's extremely useful for finding properties that are connected to the object this is added to and stuff uh, but we'll get into that into the future as you see it will work pretty much now now as you can see everything's set up but if we were to go ahead and change this to blend the game and we were to press p to play or come up here and you were to go start game as you can see when we click w nothing happens now the reason for that is we have to set up a few things and it, it's not not much to worry about because uh thankfully this add-on does it all for you so you want to come here and click a t yes t uh, hovering over the node area and we'll come down here to the bge panel right here now you can see we have a bunch of settings here so we need to click this and this is going to set up all of the uh, settings we need so if we click that as you can see uh, we get a big error now in the future i it is in beta so that's the reason we get the error but in the future it would be neat if we could see a little thing pop up message here telling us what the problem is now the problem is actually all you need to do is just save so it'd be useful if you click this and if it wasn't saved then it would say you need to save this file um if the developer ever watches that there's a suggestion so let's go ahead and save the file so it works so we're going to come up here to file and we're going to go save you can also go Control s as you can see here all right, so now that that is done, I'm going to come here to my my file, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. Um, I've done this tutorial a few times, so I have to keep saving them in different names. So I'm going to call this. I'm going to call this nude. Node logic, um, four. I'm just going to copy that name so I don't have to rewrite it again. I know it's pretty fast to write, but it's easier to copy and paste. All right, so we're going to go no logic for We're going to save this in its own folder. Now, if you're saving this to desktop or something, I would suggest making a folder and then saving the file into that folder because it's going to create another another file, a folder with files in it, and you don't want that on your desktop because it's, it's not going to be good. So make sure you put it in the blend file in its own folder so now we can click this power or whatever it says and what you see is nothing's really changed so one more thing we need to do before this will work is click this apply logic to selected objects so if we click that as you can see it said 
it here it has it applied so you can tell if the node tree is applied to an object because uh, let's say I switch this lamp as you can see it's not popping up, popping up there but when I switch over here it is popping up so this node tree is applied here and you can even have multiple applied I think you can click exit here if you don't want to apply to this anymore but we do so let's go press play and click hold, hold sorry hold W and as you can see it jumps but it's, it's not working how we'd like so how do we get that smooth you know when we're holding W it just moves and when we let go it stops well it's pretty easy thankfully the developer added this nice thing on the key press and it's pulse on so what this does is when we hold W it sends a continual pulse out until we let go but if we have that off when we click W it sends a pulse out for one tick I believe and then it doesn't do anything that's why we get that massive jump so what you'll see now is when we press play and we hold W it does the same thing the reason for that is we need to refresh custom nodes so this is something you're going to need to do when you change anything in your nodes to see it update in the game so if we click that and we press W now as you can see it moves and it moves pretty fast so what you can go ahead and do is you can go ahead and say on one of these we can say 0 0.0 uh, 0 0.2 sorry and that's going to make it uh, go a bit slower so as you can see we need to refresh custom nodes again and as you can see it's going slower now if you want it to go the opposite direction you can go ahead and come here and just go minus and now it'll go the opposite direction you can also do it with this so you want to do if you're doing on the middle one you want to do it after the comma you go minus you minus there is not going to do anything but you know if you have minus one it would and on the last one you want to go after that comma and go minus and there you go so that's how you set it up so it goes different directions so we can go refresh custom nodes press w and as you can see it's moving all right so before we go and finish off this tutorial i want to show you how you can get an object without using this owner just in case you want to move something on another scene that is not it's not applied to this object so let's say we want to move that camera or something and it's not it's not this tree um sorry there's no trees not applied to that how do we move that um so what we can go ahead and do is i'm going to delete this owner and i'm going to add a scene graph and find game object all right so what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to reference game object here so what we need to go ahead and do is i'm going to do it with this cube uh, you can do it with the camera or whatever you like and i'm going to select this and go Control c or you can rewrite it here and i'm going to go Control v and it's going to paste it there now if we go ahead and connect this game object to here what this is going to do is it's going to look for this object and then it's going to play so let's go refresh and press play and as you can see it's not working the reason for that is we need to do it from a scene or from a parent now i haven't actually tried this but i believe you can get a parent object and then it'll look under and find if it has a, a child object with that name but um what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to go ahead and go here and there's two different ways you can do it you can go current scene so this is the same as like uh the object the uh owner object but it's for the current scene so whatever scene the object that this is applied to is in that will be the scene so let's go ahead and go from scene from going to get this current scene to the from scene and now we need to go ahead and refresh custom nodes and you can see it's working another way you can do it is go uh, to the scene basic scene graph nodes and come down here to find scene you can go ahead and connect this up so if you want to move something on an overlay scene or something you can go ahead and just go Control c copy the scene or rewrite it as well and now it's going to reference the scene but the great thing about this is you can reference any scene with the current one you can only reference the scene that you're in uh, so as you can see now it's working so both of those approaches work um, it's really up to you or you don't even need to do that you can just have it you know just connect the owner it depends on what your circumstances you're going to use it for so if you want to see more tutorials on this node logic stuff please tell me um what kind of tutorials you want to see about this like uh what kind of things you want to see how to make and stuff in this add-on if you even want to see more tutorials on this add-on i really enjoy this add-on it's one of my favorite add-ons in the blender community so definitely comment down below 